Hello my beauties, welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you're looking at this face for the very first time, hi, I'm Indu, I make videos related to makeup, skincare, lifestyle, beauty and loads and loads of product reviews. So stay tuned to my channel as I have a lot of information to share with you guys and hope you guys like it. If you like my channel, please don't forget to give it a like, share and subscribe, it'll mean the world to me and also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, my Instagram handle is creative in, I share a lot of content out there, I'm sure you don't want to miss that. So quickly, let's get started. So guys, today's video is about skincare tips and tricks that I have for you beauties out there who are in your 30s and certain skincare things that I really want you and recommend that you guys follow to take care of your skin. I want to start off by saying that as we enter our 30s, definitely we are into the process of aging so our skin starts sagging we start getting wrinkles uh, the collagen production in our skin is decreasing because as we're aging the collagen production declines and for all these purposes we have to take care of our skin we definitely do not want to see fine lines and wrinkles and all of this so let's just take care of our skin also the ability of the skin to shed off those dead skin cells which are on the top it's just that step entirely slows down so for all of this there is certain skincare tips and tricks that we need to follow so that we can delay all the process and also keep our skin nice and intact and looking young the number one tip that i want to suggest to you guys is the use of a sunscreen whatever age group type you may be 20 30 40 50 60 whatever age group type you are i highly highly recommend the use of a sunscreen sunscreen is so very important for your skin it protects your skin from the harsh damage which is going to be caused because of the sun rays you need a sunscreen that to a pa triple plus sunscreen with a broad spectrum sunscreen that is a uva and uvb sunscreen because your skin needs to be protected from all the harsh light and chemicals UVB protection is also important because of uh, blue rays which are coming out uh, out of your mobile your laptop your desktop you need to protect your skin against that too so for that reason you need a broad spectrum sunscreen now talking about sunscreen sunscreens are of two types basically there are physical sunscreens there are chemical sunscreens uh, you can choose accordingly what suits your skin type and there are different sunscreens available in the market uh, also if you're talking about sunscreen there are different percentages of sunscreen there is a screen with spf of 50 there is a sunscreen with spf of 20 30 40 50 60 and so on and so forth there are various ranges of sunscreen you have to choose accordingly but that depends upon the number of hours that you're going to be out in the sun okay let me simplify this suppose if you are working uh, for less than half an hour you're going to be out in the sun you know that then you can go for an spf of 15 or spf of 30 that is more than enough for you if you're going to be out in the sun for more than a uh, half an hour uh, for to up to one hour or two hours maybe you can go for somewhere between an spf of 30 to spf of 50 but if you are going to be out in the sun the whole day or more than like an hour or two then i would definitely suggest you to use an SPF of 50 plus because that is so very important to use a sunscreen that is of higher percentage so that it just protects your skin from any damage and also whenever you use an SPF it's important to reapply the sunscreen because the main problem that we have out here is that people do not apply the adequate quantity of sunscreen what is the adequate quantity of sunscreen i say three lines of your fingers just apply three lines of your sunscreen and that is the amount of sunscreen that is supposed to apply one time on your face that is the best way of using a sunscreen the next important thing that i also want to say is that people who are staying indoors are also required to use a sunscreen yes guys even if you're indoors there is a uh, blue light around everywhere in your laptops mobiles and everywhere even the lights which are there in your home so you need to protect your skin from that and for that you need to apply a basic of spf of 15 so that's very important to keep in mind there are certain sunscreens that i really really recommend the first one starting off with the lotus herbals uh matte looks daily sunblock sunscreen this is one of my favorites uh, this is a lightly tinted formula and it this perfectly suits uh, dry skin type people the second one is the same another variant in this lotus herbals one only which is a matte gel and that suits oily skin type people the next one is of course my favorite you guys have seen it in so many videos the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch block 
SPF of 50 with PA triple plus and this is so so very important to take care of your skin and again this is a broad spectrum sunscreen all these are broad spectrum sunscreens which I'm suggesting you guys next is the Himalaya Herbals uh, UV protection sunscreen this has got an SPF of 50 I use this sunscreen when I'm indoors but whenever I'm outdoors I definitely try to use an SPF of 40 or 50 and all these all work chemical sunscreens now let me talk about a physical sunscreen a physical sunscreen that I have for you guys is from the brand queries queries is a spf 50 sunscreen again that's a broad spectrum sunscreen and you are definitely going to like that definitely do give it a try second thing that i have to recommend to you guys for women in their 30s is the use of vitamin c yes guys once you cross 25 plus they recommend that you use a vitamin c serum in your skincare vitamin c is an antioxidant that protects your skin against the free radicals which are caused because of sun damage the most common form of vitamin c that you see is in the form of l ascorbic acid and that is mostly found in serums so vitamin C they say to, you, to use in the form of a serum is because it will penetrate into the deep layers of the skin and it's their serums are a more potent formula so they are very very good for your skin and they help you to take care of your skin much fast or they work on your skin much faster as compared to a moisturizer or any other product because serums they penetrate deep into your skin I use a vitamin C serum there are certain things that you need to keep in mind for example you have to start off with the vitamin C serum that has got a 5 percentage of potent formula of vitamin C and then you can slowly build it up 10 percent 20 percent and so on and so forth how you like to use but whenever if you're a beginner please start off with 5 percent one foundations for vitamin C I would say the 5 percent vitamin C uh, drops Claire's brand it is an amazing product the product is uh, size is very very huge and it's easily available on Nykaa then you can also try the Mama Earth vitamin C serum that is also very nice then there is vitamin C from Theoli brand which I've reviewed you can always check it out then there is vitamin C from Scent Botanica again which is a very good one these are some of the ones that I've tried but you can of course go search and find out the more uh, vitamin C's that are available in the market. C is very very important because firstly it's a rich antioxidant, second it helps in brightening, dealing with your pigmentation, dealing with repairing your skin, improving the collagen production and to take care of your skin. There are multiple benefits of vitamin C so start using vitamin C once you reach your 30s. The third thing that I would like to talk to you beauties about is the importance of exfoliation. Yes guys. Uh, you have to exfoliate your skin your skin's ability to shed off the dead skin cells on the top is reducing as you're aging so by exfoliating you're just helping your skin to get rid of all the dirts and impurities which are there on the top the dead skin cells that are built up on the top it's going to help your skin to do that exfoliating is ideally twice a week you should do or sometimes you can just do once so do follow that so that it helps you to get rid of all the dead skin which is on the top and then the new skin cells which are hidden below they all can come on the top and that will help you to you know improve the get rid of the pigmentation and the, any scars or any you know discoloration that is there on your face now if you're talking about even exfoliating when you're talking about exfoliators there are two kinds of exfoliators that are in the market there is a physical exfoliant and there is a chemical exfoliant chemical exfoliation is becoming trending these days but before that physical exfoliation is most commonly used among all of us so exfoliation is basically a, a scrub or something which has got all those uh, walnut apricot all those particles date scrubs there are a variety of scrubs available in the market but take care when you're using physical exfoliants there are chances of causing micro tears into your skin so you do not want that problem to occur as a result of that you are going to make your skin more sensitive because of which you, there may be redness you may develop acne and there will be more consequences to your skin if you cause micro tears into your skin so whatever uh, scrub you use make sure that that scrub is very very gentle one of my favorites if you want to know is from myoho this is pure by priyanka this is their apricot and date uh, fruit scrub come pack it is you can use this as a scrub and as a pack also and this is how it looks like it's got an amazing amazing fragrance i use it during the weekends because this is like a scrub come pack and which really really brings about so much of difference into your skin and again this is a very very gentle formula
even though it is a scrub there are no harsh big particles which are going to cross my crotus and whenever you are scrubbing ensure that you're not going to go you know be abrasive on your skin you just can't rub like that you have to be very very gentle on skin because the skin on your face is the most uh, you know gentle skin in your entire body so just take care that you are not abrasive on your skin next product that i have is from chemical exfoliation side so chemical exfoliation is something which is very trending hs bhs and phs hs alpha hydroxy acid and uh, you can use it may be in the form of lactic acid it may be form of glycolic acid or lactic acid which may be which you may use to just take care of your this and to go off into chemical exfoliation the best thing to start off chemical exfoliation is in the to use uh, chemical exfoliants in the form of a toner one something that i recommend is from dr shays is the dr shays gulab and glycolic toner this is got glycolic acid a rose extracts and niacinamide cl for clarifying purposes the glycolic acid percentage in this is very very low you have to start off with very low percentage of all these chemical exfoliants then only you can build up your skin your skin has to get used to it it may be that your skin, this may not suit your skin it may result and skin purging but take it all slow slowly slowly and use only one new product at a time in your skincare so you know about it i started off my chemical exfoliation journey with this gulab and glycolic toner from dr shades and i really really like the formula first time i used it it did give me a tingling sensation i did face purging but after that all of it settled down and then my skin thoroughly thoroughly loves using this and i had so much of tan so much of discoloration to so much of pigmentation issues that i was facing but these chemical exfoliants and the physical exfoliants that i'm using currently have totally changed my skin care game so i highly highly recommend do try chemical exfoliation but start off with a very very small percentage and start off with a toner because toners are very very mild and then you can go off with peels with mask and there are a lot of products out there in the market you can choose accordingly another product that i want to recommend to you is again from dr shays this is a dr shays basic brightening extra gentle peel and this is a daily peel again this is got glycolic acid lactic acid for exfoliating it's got pomegranate extracts for brightening purpose again an amazing amazing formula take it slow i this is basically a mask which you use like a leave on mask you can leave in the entire night and then you can choose whether you want to leave it there first time i used it it caused a lot of skin itching to me again I, there was a lot of tingling sensation everything i used it only for 5 to 10 minutes left and i removed it next week again i tried it and now i leave it on the entire night during weekend and of course i wash it off i follow it with a sunscreen in the morning these chemical exfoliants are really good they help you to brighten up your skin they help you to get rid of the discoloration which is caused on your skin and so so useful they are the fourth thing that i want to talk to you guys is the use of a good moisturizer yes guys we ignore using moisturizer we sometimes think, oh we are like oily skin type you know we don't need to use a moisturizer in our skin no it's not like that or we are dry skin type you know every moisturizer doesn't suit we can just use oils and skip no always use a good moisturizer a good moisturizer or maybe a moisturizer which is very very rich as per the purpose of your skin basically i would like to just uh, split into two like if you're from oily skin type try using a gel based moisturizer because that will be very very light on your skin your skin will feel breathable and to the dry skin ones apply a thick moisturizer a cream based moisturizer which will help you to take care of uh, your skin some of the moisturizers that i highly highly want to recommend is like uh, the variety of moisturizers that are available in the market some that i recommend for dry skin type people is the cetaphil moisturizer which is very very hydrating for your skin second i would recommend the uh, vitamin e and glycerin moisturizer from ponds which is again very very good for dry skin type then there is uh, lotus herbs neutra moist moisturizer again very good for dry skin type now when oily skin types you can go for uh, for oily skin type i would go, uh, recommend you to go more of gel based creams like the pons hyaluronic acid moisturizer very very light for oily skin type people biotic bio morning nectar which is again a very very light moisturizer for oily skin type so these are some of the recommendations if i have more recommendations i will definitely put it down below but a moisturizer is so very important to you know just complete of the entire skin care or to just keep your skin nourished moisturized and hydrated so the first thing is like whenever your skin is facing dehydration uh, because of not being moisturized that is a time when your skin starts seeing the wrinkles and fine lines so just take care and ensure that such things do not happen you always got to use a moisturizer 
moisturizer will help a lot to take care of your skin fifth thing that i would like to suggest you guys is the use of a toner guys yes toner is so very important because what happens is the water that we use these days are not so very good so we need to apply a toner to balance the ph level which has changed because of the hard water that we're using out there so using a good toner is so so very important i have so many toners out there toners usually have the right ph balance they help you to not only uh, balance out your skin with the right level of ph but toners also help you to minimize the pores uh, to just uh, tighten up your pores to take care of your skin to hydrate your skin to moisturize your skin again toners there are variety of toners available in the market again these there are toners targeted for different purposes different skin types and for what you're looking for there are toners for skin tightening there are toners for brightening there are so uh, toners for uh, you know anti-aging collagen production and also and so on and so forth for different purposes you have to just to choose your toners accordingly there are certain toners that i recommend to dry skin type and oily skin type now i'll just list it out that is for uh, dry skin type i would suggest the good vibes uh, pomegranate toner it's very very good the good vibes rose hip toner again amazing for now if you're talking about uh, good vibes there is a good vibes green tea toner which is so so good for oily skin types that is very very good for your uh, skin uh, pore tightening and also to reduce the sebum production which is caused so my husband uses and it works really great on him and also the good vibes rose toner again i suggest that rose toner to be used mostly by oily skin type people all skin types can use but mostly it's best suited for oily skin type people next is there are few rose waters that i really like to suggest to uh, juicy chemistry bulgarian rose water it is amazing definitely give it a try you want to fall in love with it second is a kama ayurveda rose water again a very very beautiful uh, rose water you are again going to love that third is the forest essential rose water which is very very good fourth is the shesha naturals rose water 100 percent distilled rose water it's amazing guys these are one of the best rose waters i've tried i've really fallen in love with these and that is the reason i highly highly recommend it to you guys these rose waters can be used by all skin types but again i have my favorite my most favorite which is a hundred percent lavender water which is from juicy chemistry that i suggest to people from dry skin types and sensitive skin types because that is more of a soothing and a calming under hydrocell which is very very good for dry skin types so that is one of my recommendations now these were all the tips and tricks and five things that i definitely want you guys to note and follow for my skincare beauties for my beauties who are in their third so that you uh, now there are certain uh, tips and tricks and some additional points that i want to share it with you guys but these all are optional so the first thing that i would like to start off is uh, the use of an eye cream an eye cream is very very important so that it keeps the under eye area and the area in your eyelids and all hydrated nourish and I'm not sure as to how much these uh, eye creams help to, you know, get rid of the dark circles, but they can keep your area moisturized, thus delay aging. The two products that I would like to suggest, the Mom's Company eye cream is really very good and the um, Dr. Shades Date and Quino eye cream is really, really good. Next is the use of a mask. You can, of course, you do masking once a week. Uh, use of a good hydrating mask will keep your skin moisturized. Don't go for sheet mask. Go, go for a proper rose clay mask, a charcoal mask or any face pack or something that will really really help you to take care of your skin bring out the hydration and take care of your uh, skin during this time next is compulsory the use of a serum yes guys start using serums in your skincare when you are in 30 you know for a particular purpose for example i like using the dr shade sika and ceramide serum which helps you to take care of my skin to keep my skin hydrated and keep my moisturized it's so so important and serums are more potent formula so they will penetrate into the deep layers of the skin and they will take care of your skin so ensure if you can invest in a good serum and that too that will help you to you know address your to address your particular problem so that it helps you to improve your skin help you to repair the skin barrier which is caused with damage something is caused because of all this pollution and everything so good serum will help you to take care of your skin to repair your skin next thing that i would like to say is like as you're aging uh, there is also uh, you can start using retinol based products retinol is something which helps you to delay the process of aging sometimes they say even reverse the process of aging but de for delaying the uh, process of aging you can definitely try retinol products i myself have not tried any potent formula so i am not myself recommending it 
but definitely if you are in your 30s and you want to take care of your skin and you want to still delay your process of aging can start using this is the right time to start using retinol based products retinols are very good to take care of your skin you can follow a good skin uh, underscore good skin um, her channel is very good she talks about all of these products and lot of detailed review she gives the point that i want to share with you guys is uh having a proper food and taking care of yourself yes guys it's important to also take care of your diet have the right kind of food not to rely too much of junk food or everything so that uh, you know whatever you eat is definitely shown on your skin so just to take care of that avoid junk eat healthy eat good and also along with that i also want to say that we are always in the lookout to eating good food along with that you can also add better products to your skin uh, for that you can have protein and herbs from oziva oziva brand has spritz proteins and herbs which are very very good i have a dedicated video for it you can definitely go and check it out along with that they have you know plant based protein powder with, uh, for collagen production in your skin for biotin if you're facing any of the problems like hair fall and everything you can go for biotin products if you're facing something towards aging and everything you can go for the collagen based products you can choose your products wisely but there are a lot of products and oziva is one such brand that i would highly highly recommend so that were the 10 five major tips that i have for you guys for beauty and authenticity and five additional tips that i had for you guys who are in your 30s i hope you guys like this video and so that's an end to the video guys if you like it please don't forget to give the like share and subscribe it will mean the world to me and also if you have any queries you can just ping me down below you can write in the comment box below you can follow me on instagram and you can just put any comments to me over there or dm me i'll be more than happy to answer you or you can also email me my email id is also available to you guys And if you did like the video do not forget to give it a like share and subscribe till next time bye